Hi folks, welcome back. I'm Fix It Up Jack, and I've got some new projects today. Let's look at this AMC intake manifold. This will be going on my 1967 AMC Marlin project. I intend to powder coat it to match that water neck you see there. I did the powder coating on that, sort of an AMC teal color. It should all look real nice when it's put together on the car. But for today, I'll be working on this Harbor Freight Mini Mill. I was making some Freedom Chips last night. Had the 11 16th mill going. When I went to clean out some of the chips, I used this dental tool. Bad idea, as you can imagine. I didn't turn the machine off. I was in there scraping away some of the chips got it caught in the mill and sheared off the drive pin so now the quill is fully disconnected from the motor so i'm going to tear into this thing hopefully it's just a shear pin in there that's uh, sheared off and done its job and see if i can repair this mill Okay, let's crack this case open and see just what exactly broke inside. Well, as you can see, it appears to be the worst case scenario. I was hoping there would be something like a shear pin inside that could be easily replaced, but Harbor Freight being Harbor Freight, they used nylon gears and it looks like the nylon gears are the fail point here. So I'll have to get some new replacement gears ordered up, but it looks like the repair will be fairly simple once they arrive. Looks like maybe just this one Phillips screw. I gathered the pieces up and it's actually just the one nylon gear that's busted. So there there is no there is no idler gear. So there is no idler gear for this hole. It is just the one drive gear that meshes with that output gear from the electric motor. So all I'll have to do is replace that one nylon gear and I'm hoping I can find one based on the 44991 mini vertical milling and drilling machine from Central Machinery. I imagine many people run into this problem, so I'm hoping it won't be too difficult to find that piece. I'll let you know in the next video. Looks like this is going to be a short video, but uh, thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you next time. Way! The second part is now! Welcome back. Well, as it turns out, the replacement piece showed up before I finished editing the original video. So here we go, let's get this thing put back together. 
With any luck, we'll have this thing operational in no time and I can get back to making freedom chips. Let's take a look. I did a quick internet search and I found this company, Little Machines. They offered replacement parts for the Harbor Freight Mini Mill. In fact, they even offered an upgraded metal replacement gear for that mini mill. I reassembled all the busted pieces of the vinyl gear so that I could do a side-by-side -side comparison with the new gear to make sure they were going to be compatible. The inside diameter, outside diameter, tooth count, all of the dimensions appear to be the same. So I think this will be a good replacement piece for the Harbor Freight Mini Mill. Let's head over to the machine and begin the replacement process. Okay, the replacement process should be a simple matter of slipping the gear back into place with the Woodruff key, retightening the Phillips head screw, reattaching the motor, and back in business. So here we go. This Woodruff key is an oval and it fits into an oval hole. It doesn't go in the square way, it goes in the oval. You'll need to be certain to get the orientation right. Okay, a couple quick notes. As you'll notice, I had to have the Allen key at quite an angle because of the proximity to the motor. I would highly suggest the use of a ball and Allen wrench if you have access to one. Second note I'd just like to point out, you may have noticed this bolt I have here on a magnet. I keep this here to act as my stop when I'm making tooling changes. The magnet holds it right there so it's always available and then I can change bits quickly and easily. Okay, with the process complete, everything feels good, there's no binding, everything feels very smooth. I think it's ready for a test run. I'd call that a success. Thanks for sticking around everybody. I hope this video can be some help to you if you're experiencing the same problem. Perhaps you have a Harbor Freight Mini Mill and you bust the vinyl gear. You can see that it's a really, really easy process to replace it. Keep fixing stuff. I'm Fix It Up Jack. And I'll see you next time.